Hello! This is the new patch here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance. So, you'll notice, uh, well, you might notice the difference, I don't know, it doesn't matter, that I've changed it around again. So, that instead of. Instead of it being like that, it's like that, with Rydia appearing to be at the front. It turns out that when she appears, the character appears to be at the front. They're actually at the back, and when they appear to be at the back, they're actually at the front. So at this point, you want it to look like this, not the other way around. That means Cecil's attacks are more powerful, but uh, he can be damaged more easily, and Rydia's physical attacks are less powerful she can't be done as easily, but it doesn't really matter because you're not really going to want my gear doing attacks anyway. I brought I brought idea up to level 12 and Cecil up to level 15. Uh, this uh, desert area that we're in now, just in front of this page, great uh, place to level up your characters, but there's a big jump in uh, levels of enemies once you actually go into the cave. So I would strongly advise bringing Rydia up the level and if you can afford it, you should be able to get more gear by uh, fighting enemies. Although I've noticed this game is quite tough on you in terms of gear. You don't actually get a lot and things are actually quite expensive. But anyway, if you can afford it, I would get at least one Phoenix down. Uh, also, I've managed to unlock two achievements. I don't know how, but I unlocked one Hunter. I suspect that's to do with the number of enemies you attack, and also a Bloodstained Road, which is definitely, I'd say, to do with the number of enemies uh, you attack. And so that's what brought you up to date. Let's go and cave. And See, we've still got the map there. It's quite cool. So, try and get these chests. Now, she can target all, as you can see there. It's said target all at the bottom, and she is capable of doing that. I'm not going to overlook use her magic, because I don't have any ethers. But, uh,. Yeah, these creatures are annoying because never one of them just appeared. But, uh, yes, these uh, creatures are weak to lightning. So that's quite helpful to know. I actually tried going through this cave without leveling up, and my characters were absolutely decimated, so. Those things hurt you by licking you. You wouldn't have thought that would work, would you? Or see why Gear does level up quite quickly, although not as quickly as he does in the game by advanced version. Creases in here have a lot more gear, but I suppose that's to balance out how badly they hurt you. Okay, also, let's have a look at Maiden's Kiss, and let's have a look at the new magic attacks that uh, Rydia has learned by leveling up. So, it removes Toad status. You get turned into a Toad? Well, you'll see. I'm not going to explain it to you. You'll find out. Pure, confused, confused. I'm not going to tell you what Confuse does, either. You know what? You can actually just watch. Uh, I suppose the minimap is fully filled in. Which is the difference. You don't have to fill it in 1% of the time. Hold is, is quite nasty. Uh, when I tried to go for this cave earlier, yeah, hold is pretty nasty. And the uh, cure is pretty useful. Warp sounds quite useful, and I never normally use it in uh, Final Fantasy games. So. 
I'm hoping that there'll be a Phoenix down on Ether in one of these. But yeah, you can't do a normal save in this cave. Even when you're making rhyme all the time. Target ball. See, even with the lever increase, uh, she's still pretty vulnerable to attacks. Ah, she's annoying. Unless Sasso had an attack that affect all the enemies. But since he doesn't, he doesn't. I don't think it makes a difference to your magic power um, how many enemies you target with magic, so... Okay, I'm not going to show off any other battles unless they seem relevant. But yeah, the useful thing is, even if you can't technically see a chest, if you're in the right area, this uh, map, as it gets filled in, will tell you when you've gone to a chest, so... Oh! Wow, this is easier than it was last time. Although, I think last time it was because we hadn't gone to find Rosa yet. Yeah, you see, Terra was mentioned in the last episode, as was Anna. The reason I showed off some of those conversations in Kakaro uh, is because they're foreshadowing things that we'll have to do later on in the game. I can't tell you anything about the saves class. I don't know. Let's have a look at him. Level 13. But he has a decent amount of hit points and magic points. And perhaps we should just go on the manage. Well, check what magic he has. That might be more useful to know. I don't know how long Blink lasts for, but yeah, it looks like he's got some useful stuff here, and he certainly has more magic power than Right Gear does. So.
Well, my hope was that this would reveal some uh, chests that we can go and get. Aren't they not? Ah. As I said. See what those tiny mages do? They're, they're basically mages, so um, they use magic attacks against you. One magic attack they have is hold. This is very, very irritating. I want to get 100% of the map. Oh, these areas where there is literally nothing or quite strange. I reckon we'll save the magic and the crystals Well, we'll maybe use the magic for uh, healing. I really ought to stop chalking during the fights against the enemies now, because it's just kind of wasting time in the video. Okay, eleven degrees, that's good. And ether is very useful as well. Okay, this is kind of awkward. I think I'm going to have to go back and get that little bit of uh, land that I haven't ma gotten marked off from the map yet. Just because I can get a reward if I do that. So, I will meet you back here in a minute. Well, the good news is that Sussman's level has increased. The bad news is that Ygear is now magic power. His strength, the uh, teller's strength has decreased. I'm not quite sure why that is. There you go. I've got that tiny, 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 tiny bit that still needs to be done. Done. And, uh, let this be a lesson to, well, me, in the future. That I need to explore every part, if I'm going to explore every part. I'm going to have to carry on until I can find somewhere else where I can stay. 
Jesus. When you got into a new pod. Map starts in zero again. Not the previous map again. Right, well, you can see why I find these things more. Let's have a look at these items and see if we've got any equipment now we can use to uh, improve. And we do it. That was some fish I just thought, but the ordinary fish, I wasn't really sure it was worth showing them off, so... Okay, now we need to go back to the other places, and I was going to see if there's a uh, price we can save here, and then... In the next episode, I could go back to these uh, other parts of the cave to fill in the rest of the map. Well, everything, as you can see, has been restored, and I'm going to end the episode there. I will see you next.